Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, what I wanted to go through in this uh, session is NAV 2017 and the user interface additions that have been introduced from Microsoft. Uh, NAV 2017 has a lot of fancy features. Uh, it's an excellent release. And so one of the things that, uh, or a few of the things that came up were um, great user interface additions. Um, one of them being and here I'm looking at 2017, um, the Power BI reports. So we can actually now see a Power BI report inside the um, role tailor center uh, or the role center in 2017. So when a user logs in, you can set up the reports that the uh, user is allowed to see uh, within Power BI and uh, and display them right here on the uh, on the role tailor center or the role center. So and here we could be have we can have multiple reports. Uh, for example, if I click here on next report, I can see the next report that is available uh, to me. Uh, let me go ahead and close this out, and uh, now you can see that this report is interactive. So I can increase, for example, the date range that I'm looking at. Now you can see the things update. I can, for example, look at only, let's see, Ken Mallet's opportunities. And I can see that he has uh, two low priority and five normal priority opportunities. Um, and quite a few of them are one, etc. So. This is uh, really exciting because what it does, it connects together NAV and Power BI in a very native way. Now these reports are refreshed by Power BI, so it's not real time from NAV, uh, but it can be near real time. You can have them refreshed quite often, uh, or you can have it like uh, many companies do with uh, business intelligence, like daily um, flashcards or daily reports. Um, so this is uh, a quite interesting addition. Another one uh, that I wanted to highlight is in the web client. So it's not in the uh, in the standard uh, role tailored client, but in the web client. Here in the web client, um, we can go into, for example, a list like items, and we see the standard list like this. But there's three new icons that have been introduced here. This is the list view. I can also take a look at something called the tile view. Now the tile view displays like this and will show the picture of the item if there is one. And you can see how they come up like that, which is really nice if you're going through a list and you don't know exactly how they look like, especially for salespeople. Uh, they can see the items uh, that they're selling and describe them to the customer or even send them over to the customer. And there's also this brick view that shows a smaller version of the picture plus um, other pertinent information. Now this information here we have how many we have in stock and what the price is. But of course uh, we can set up the information that is shown in the brick, so that could be something else uh, based on the user requirement. But I think this is a really nice addition to the user interface, uh, making it more of almost like uh, that you're doing web shopping, uh, you know, adding to cart, etc. Except, of course, you're inside the ERP. Uh, if I go into customers, we have the same functionality there. Notice that the tile view that I'm set on right now shows a picture of the contact within the customer. And uh, the brick view will, of course, do the same. So here what we're looking at is uh, this Selangorian 
uh, Mr. Mark MacArthur is is here. We have a picture of him, and we show are showing how much they owe us, etc. So quite interesting additions to uh, NAV 2017. Uh, really cool. So of course, uh, for people who are modifying the system and thinking out of the box, you can now use these features for other things as well, or in your specialized modules. And um, so that was uh, those were the things I wanted to highlight about 2017. Uh, the new views on lists are with uh, tiles and bricks, and of course the Power BI reports inside the client. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.